Hey guys, this is Hafiz and today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to save the roll service if your clutch is uh, blown out and uh, you are not able to go into the gears. So I'm just going to show you uh, how it's going to do. Like if you press the clutch and then you try to go in the gear, you're going to hear this kind of noise like it's burning and you cannot get into the gear even you are on the clutch so you are not able to go into the gear so what you have to do is uh, try if you can go in the gear because uh, if sometimes it's uh, uh, the hydraulic clutch they are out of uh, uh, fluid and they can give you problem like this that uh, you're trying to go in the gear and it's not going in the gear and you're gonna hear this noise grinding and uh, there's no way you can get into the gear it's like uh, if you step off the clutch and you try to go in the gear you're gonna hear the same noise so <clears throat> so what you have to do there's two ways you can do it one is like you try to push it really hard and try to get into the gear like keep pushing it I'm using two fingers right now so I'm in a gear right now so I'm going back in neutral so that's one of the way but that's uh, if your clutch is totally blown out then you're gonna have a really hard time to get into the gear in my situation it's a different case but uh, I'm gonna explain you both situations so what I'm gonna do uh, the easiest way to do it is uh, just uh, turn off your ignition and then you go into the gear whatever gear you want to go into to get into that gear it's so easy you can get into the gear so let's suppose I'm in a, in a second gear I'm in third gear so I'm going to start my truck and now I'm on the clutch while I did that so I'm going to drive because I'm already on a gear so I'm able to drive it If your clutch is completely blown out and it's totally burned then what you do is turn off your truck put in the gear and then uh, start the truck so as soon as you're gonna start the truck you have to be ready because the truck is gonna jerk a little bit and it's gonna let's suppose you start the truck and it's gonna act like this like you are in a gear and it's gonna be start moving right away so you have to be in a very lower gear and you cannot completely control your uh, uh, clutch uh, I, I mean the truck because it's gonna move as soon as you put in a gear it's gonna move a little bit you know so uh, in that case uh, let's suppose you can move the truck and after that you don't use any uh, clutch anymore and you just put the truck in a gear straight you're gonna have no problem uh, to drive the truck as long as you are in a gear and you are uh, before you stop uh, you put the truck in the gear and uh, let it roll down a little bit but you don't completely stop because if you have to make a complete stop in that case what you um, you have to do the same uh, procedure again you have to turn off your truck and uh, you have to uh, put in a gear start the truck and uh, do that again so I'm gonna tip give you some tips how can you uh, save the road service uh, uh, if you get in the gear and what you have to do next all right so as I just explained uh, there could be different kind of problem with the clutch when you are trying to put the truck in a gear uh, so the first problem is like uh, when you try to push uh, the gear um, and uh, are you able to go into the gear after a little bit of struggle but uh, you will notice that your truck is not moving at all and you are totally in control uh, when you release the clutch your truck should be moving and when you press the clutch your truck should be uh, disengaging the uh, transmission so that problem is most likely is the problem with the uh, the clutch brake if your clutch brake is bad that means you not gonna be um, uh, going into the gear very nicely you know very smoothly 
you have to struggle for the first uh, gear but once you're in a first gear and then you can go into any gear without any problem until unless you go in neutral again and then you have to struggle with the gear again so the second issue we could have is um, um, in the same situation it could be a hydraulic clutch when it's running low on uh, oil uh, so that could be a problem that uh, you know uh, uh, your truck uh, uh, will give you hard time to put in a gear so in that case you have to look at the fluid uh, uh, for the transmission and for the clutch uh, so make sure if it's good if it's good then you have to pump the clutch like you have to pump the clutch like you pump the brakes for the pre-trip just like that you have to keep pumping the clutch and that can help you to uh, uh, you know the uh, um, you make a proper use for the hydraulic clutch because these clutch they are just automatically in all these uh, uh, you have to adjust the clutch manually but now uh, if you have a hydraulic clutch you have to pump the clutch if you put the oil in there so it should work but if you don't work that way then it's your uh, clutch brake problem so the third problem that i was trying to show you that if your tr uh, clutch is completely worn out and you're not able to move at all in that case is your uh, clutch is bad you know so if your clutch is totally bad then what you can do is like put your um, truck in a gear turn off the ignition put in a gear and make sure your truck uh, brakes are released because as soon as you uh, start the truck your truck is gonna move and uh, you won't be able to uh, stop the truck uh, with the uh, clutch so make sure when you backing up to any dock make sure you go in neutral if you are backing into the dock you go in neutral before you hit the trailer and, uh, and then you have to turn off the uh, truck and start again and put in a gear and you have to be very careful when you backing into the dock because you can get stuck with that dock because your truck is not gonna stop so you have to be very careful and whenever you're driving just drive because as soon as you stop um, uh, the truck you won't be able to go back in the gear again and you have to turn off the truck again and do the same procedure again and again so make sure whenever you uh, stopping let the truck roll a little bit and uh, if you have to park the truck uh, make sure if it's uh, on a little bit uh, hill downhill so you can roll the truck a little bit and you always have to shift with the rpm you cannot use the clutch anymore so this is uh, only for getting out of the road and save the road service um, and you can drive as long as you want but i mean you have to be careful that you don't drive this uh, and you can get stuck and it can cause you more money so so if your truck is good always drive in uh, between uh, 10 and 15 rpm don't drive in a low rpm to protect your uh, um, clutch i hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share with the friends thank you so much